of it. Hey, you all. Cheers. JK, it's water. Okay, so I wanted to do this video before my YouTube channel blow up. So here it is my high school experience. Um, right, like speculations, motherfuckers questioning shit. I just wanted to make it motherfucking clear and put it out here. So yeah. I did not have he sex in high school. I was not a freak in high school. I was literally the loser bitch. Like, yeah. Um, I want to be a class clown. Like, bitch, jokes. I'm goofy. Like, that's how I was in high school. Like, uh, I don't know where this sex, big sexy came from, but I like it. But, yeah. Um... And I didn't really get bullied, but, like, of course people would say shit. Like, I was, like, the type that, like, like motherfuckers would, like, use me as, like, memes and shit. So, like, that was me in, like, high school. Like, like it never really got to me, but, like, certain people could use it. But, like, when other people used it, I'd be like, bitch, like, you're weird. Um, and I only got in, like, two fights in high school. But, yeah. Like, uh, the whole reason the fights were, like, weirdo shit, like... No reason. No reason. Bitches, like, literally, yeah, no reason that we was fighting. Okay, one bitch was fighting me over a whole other bitch. Like, it was just weird shit. And then the other bitch, we fought because she said, I came back from Vegas, bald as fuck. I used, I moved in Vegas. I moved to Vegas my sophomore year. If you're not tapped into my videos, go motherfucking watch, period. Okay, so, ninth grade, um... I went to Lancaster High School. Uh, I fucking loved that high school because it had, like, mirror windows. So, like, every time that, like, we'll be walking by. But that was, like, basically, like, towards, like, the quad. So, like, bitch, like, every time I would, like, go to the bathroom or somewhere, I'm always in the mirror. And so, like, you know, they'll be, like, oh, today on the mirror. And they'll take pictures. Like, I was basically, like, a meme. And, like, Twitter was, like, really fucking cool back then. So, like, but that was, like... 10th and like 10th to I graduated ninth grade a bitch was a nobody okay ninth grade it I was so scared of high school because like the way they was making it seem and shit like they was like oh motherfuckers will get thrown in the trash can just pregnancy crazy shit that's how they really made high school seem bitch that shit was like the bitch shit got homework got hard what was I, a bitch? I had to take the Cassie. All this shit was stupid. Like, I don't even fucking use it now. The Cassie? Bitch, I had to, I didn't pass that shit till 12th grade. And I don't give a fuck. I, I didn't. That shit was really fucking hard. I don't, I didn't really pay attention. Like, math, I hated math. I hated the fuck out of math. I still, I don't know. I don't know what my kids gonna do. They gonna have to get a tutor or shit. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, ninth grade, not really much. Bitch was a loser. Um, 10th grade? Yeah, like I always had titties and stuff and like niggas would look, but I'd be like, ugh, nigga, like, let me tell you a joke. Like, <laughs> fuck, like don't look at me. Um, yeah, and like my high school, it was cool as fuck because we had like ABC days. So like, we only go to like three classes a day, but like the classes would be like two hours. But like, we didn't have to do homework every night, if that made sense, like, because it would be an ABC day, and then the next day would be DEF, so we didn't have to do our homework. Bitch, I was never doing homework, but... <laughs> oh, God, okay, so 10th grade. 10th grade. I moved. Um, I went uh, I went there for, like, two months. 10th grade. Did I fight 10th grade here? I got no, I fought when I came back. Um, 10th grade. <sighs> the nigga I lost my virginity to started going to the school. Uh, I'm going to get back so fucking bad. God, he, uh, I had my schedule. I was in, I had the coolest fucking classes ever. Moved. The nigga got my exact schedule. I was in all them fucking classes. Bitch, I came back, tried to get them motherfucking classes. They said, bitch, no. So, um, I was take. oh, bitch, I had art class. But that motherfucker, he was like a crucial fucking grader. And like, bitch, I could I cannot draw. I cannot. Like, so that shit was terrible. Um, yeah, never ended up fucking that nigga. Like, when I came back, like, he tried. But 
if you watch the story, you get a shy girl. Right? And it wasn't really into sex in high school, like, still. Like, I just, like, mm, like, the thought of it, like, yeah, like, niggas was, like, niggas was kind of tapped in, but, like, I didn't go to school with, like, hood-ass niggas. Like, I went to Lancaster, like, damn near, like, um, it was mostly, like, okay, I hung out with the Asian kids, like, I'm gonna say that, like, I hung out with them, like, hey, nigga, can I copy your homework? Like, it was shit like that, like, it was this one hood-ass nigga, like, when he came to the school, bitch, I feel like that's the nigga that really made me, whoa, because that nigga, he came to school, he looked just like YG, and he was a freshman. That nigga whole neck was tatted. I said, God damn it. Who is that? Who the fuck is that? Like, the bitch was intrigued. But you know, little freshman bitches was on him. So I was just like, whatever. And like, I was, I was uh, shy and shit. I was like, yeah, shy. Um, so yeah, that was like the first ever hood nigga at the school. I was like, oh my God, who is this nigga? No, it was this one nigga when I was a freshman. But he was like senior. And that nigga, he, I swear to God, that nigga looked 25. And he was just so... And he was like that super dark, like, oh my god, that nigga. Oh, and then I fucked like one nigga later on in life, but yeah, not not any of them niggas, but it was like this other nigga that was, he had moved to Lancaster from Atlanta when I was a freshman, and he was like so, he was like he was bomb, but he wasn't as bomb as like you know the black nigga, the super black nigga. That nigga was, oh, if I ever find that nigga, nigga, woo, woo, nigga, if I ever find you, eh. All right, so that was that, niggas. Those were, like, my crushes. That was, like, my crush, ninth grade year, that super black nigga. Like, bitch, every time I would see him, bitch, I would just be cheesing. Like, like, damn, I didn't have no motherfucking game, bitch. I was a goofball. I was like, <laughs> like, I didn't know what the fuck to say to a nigga. Alright, so that was that nigga, and then, I don't know, nigga graduated, moved on with his life, I don't know. Um, so then, the sexy ass hood nigga, I was like, low-key intrigued by that nigga. Um, so yeah, that was like the first time I ever seen a hood nigga. But like I said, I hung out with like, the, I was in drama class, like, I was just like, I don't know, like, I hung out with like the... My, it was just a very diverse group of friends. It was like, we had white, Mexican, black, Armenian. Like, it was very diverse. And, like, that's the that's why I fucked with about Lancaster. Like, it was cool. It was cool. Um, Like, I feel like 11th grade, when I moved back from Vegas, that's kind of when I started going up on Twitter. Not kinky Twitter, like regular high school Twitter. Like, I would just... I don't know, tweet funny shit. Not tweet funny shit, like, on purpose. Like, really just tweet my motherfucking mind away. And motherfuckers would, like, be in class and shit. Like, motherfuckers. And they'll be like, bitch, like, what? Like, they'll see my tweet. And then motherfuckers from, like, other schools started finding out about me. Um, my Twitter used to be Lick My Airwalks, right? That's the whole story behind that. It was, like, this bitch. She was, like... I was dusty as fuck back then, but it was, like, funny. Because her fucking Snapchat name was, like, Lick My Jordans or something. And I was like, bitch, you wear Airwalks. So, I made my shit Lick My Airwalks. Um, so, that was my Twitter. And, like, I didn't start going to house parties till I graduated. Um, but when I was going to house parties, I was going to house parties on, like, the West, like, Court Hill and shit. And most fuckers would be tapping in. And they're like, oh, my God, like, you lick my Airwalks, blah, blah. And I'm like... Yeah, like, yeah. Um, so that was that. Okay, well, we going too motherfucking far. We going back to 10th, 11th grade? Okay, 10th grade, I spent half of it in Vegas. That was like, oh, bitch, that shit was so fucking terrible. Vegas was, Vegas is horrible as a kid. I'm going to just say that. The school I went to, it was like coming from something that was like super diverse to like, it's like going from Lancaster to like just going to AV. Like, bitch, it was like a lot. Like, and that's like just going to like a diverse school in your community or wherever the fuck you're from, your town, to like going to like just ghetto, like a ghetto ass school. Like, 
that's what the fuck it was like for me. And that's still when I'm like square girl, like not really on to game, don't really know shit. That's that's how it was. And I was just like, whoa, like this is a lot. So um, I left diverse ass Lancaster and moved to Vegas my 10th grade year. Uh, where I Where I lived in Vegas, like literally right up the street, I swear to God I said it, but literally right up the street, it was like this brand new little high school just built, looked like a fucking college. And I remember, um, cause I'm like, oh yeah, this is the high school I gotta go to. It's like literally right around the fucking house. And, um, bitch, cause like my brother had went to the middle school fucking on top of the hill, like way further past, um, the high school. So I'm like, oh yeah, of course I'm gonna go here. Like the fuck this shit fly as fuck. Like she literally looked like a college. So bitch, I go to, um, my mama take me to, uh, register for school they like, oh, you're not in the uh, zones. Whoa, you got to go to Chaparral. Bitch, I'm like, what? That shit sound, that sound like some shit. So I'm like, we Googling this shit, bitch. That shit take you. I'm like, oh, hell no. This is the AV of Vegas. Oh, hell no. Bitch, school, orange in the motherfucker. Them stairs was just, that's the killer. Like, you you can see the school, um... I was mean to drive by it and shit while I was out here, but I was just like, oh, bad memories. Um, <laughs> not bad memories, because I was only there for like six months, but like, you know. Okay, so like you can see the school from like, I don't know what it is, because like it was like fucking, it was like three stories, but like it was like a two story stairs, but it was like, you know, fucking high as fuck. Okay, so like I hated that. I hated walking up all the fucking stairs. That's when I was like super fat girl. I fucking hated it. Um, so, bitch, I had to go to that motherfucking school. And then before I could even get enrolled in school, I had to get a motherfucking shot. Like, shit was real life fucking crazy. I was like, what the fuck? I gotta get a shot before I can go to school? So, um, bitch, I just hated it. I hated fucking school. Um, I was in 10th grade. What classes was I taking? I don't know, but I know I had drama class. And then the drama class in the Vegas school, you had to go out the campus to get to it. Oh, and the thing that sucks is I was going to like three classes a day for two hours. Then I had to go to like eight periods a day. Bitch, that shit just sucked. That shit, oh, that shit sucked. Okay, so Vegas sucked. Um, Okay, I was, this was tip. <laughs> 10th grade was it any pregnant bitches at Lancaster 10th grade no like pregnant we was not seeing pregnant bitches like that in California or like whatever it might have been like some on Facebook but that was like few it was like few back then bitch I went to Vegas I swear to god almost every bitch was pregnant like it was so many prank like so many pregnant bitches walking around the school like I was just like, wow, y'all really be having sex. And like, because it's... Okay, I had never seen that many pregnant bitches in my life. Like, mamas and daddies be working night and shit. So, anyways, it was just so many pregnant bitches. So, I kind of made a friend. She was in, like, my drama class. But the shit was, like, titled because it's, like, different states. So, you know, like, the different... You only... We needed, like... Cause you know, like 10th grade was like, you was supposed to focus on like how many credits you needed to graduate. They made that shit seem so important. So whatever, like I remember California, you needed, like we needed two something to graduate. Bitch, Vegas, you only needed like one, I swear to God, like 158. So I was just like, okay, like. <laughs> so like the, all the classes that I had, they tried to give me the same and like the, Ones that they couldn't are like the electives that they didn't offer. Like in California, we didn't have cooking classes. So instead of, I think, our, mm, I think instead of art, they gave me a cooking class. Because, <clears throat> yeah, I don't, we didn't have that. So, I mean, that's the only thing that was fun, like the cooking class. Like, that was real fun. Like, we was baking and shit, and 
and then we got to eat it like that was fun um so yeah i was out there for like six months i was 15 and i came back when i was 16 i came back like right after my 16th birthday bitch i could not oh i almost said that nigga name i could not wait to get back to that nigga i lost my virginity too like not like that but like like you you know how like you could tell when a nigga having some sex you just like he's experienced not like <sighs> like i just knew that niggas was having sex and i don't know like i just always felt like oh later like why now like later so like yeah it was like don't miss out your don't miss out on your chance. Um fucking the nigga that goes to the pros. Nigga never went, but that's besides the point. <laughs> um, so tenth grade came back. I'm thinking I'm gonna get all my classes. They like, nope, the fuck? You really gave me a whole bunch of different shit. Cause we had two different lunches. Um so I think I was just fucked both days, A, B and C days. I mean, A, A, B, C days and D, E, F days, I was fucked. So I come back and then I think the second week I'm back, um, we had this school behind the school that I used to call it the retarded school. Not like that, but like, oh God, like, um, I, I don't know. I just used to call it that. Um, so yeah, the school that was in the back um one day oh my um counselor he was so fucking bomb <sighs> he used to um bitch i swear to god if i had the motherfucking game that i had now bitch oh <sighs> shit would have been so different so that nigga used to touch on my shoulder and shit like i felt like he liked me but like i didn't know what to do bitch if i knew now what i would have bitch okay so that nigga used to touch up all of me not like that but like you know just on my shoulders and shit and i used to be like okay so he had called me to his office one time and you know i'm thinking it's on some you know just oh he want to see me type shit bitch he like hey uh you missing a whole uh semester because i had moved bitch i'm trying to transfer and like oh because i just i had just left the school i didn't transfer nothing i had just moved i was like my mom just, because uh, I kept begging her to come back. Because I was like, oh, my God, he goes to, she already knew about the nigga because since, like, eighth grade. I was like, oh, my God, he goes there. So I was just, like, begging her, begging her to come back. And I never transferred my shit from there. So, like, bitch, that nigga was like, um, you're missing a whole semester. You got to go to the retarded school. I said, bitch, I cry. <laughs> I said, mom. You gotta call the school. <laughs> Bitch, I was not trying to go back there. Like, it was like all the bad niggas. Like, I'm talking about niggas that was like in and out of prison. Like, they was the ones that was back there. Like, mm, I was not trying to go back there. <laughs> like, that's when I was like full blown, like tight ass square. Like, I was like, oh, hell no. I'm not trying to go back there. Like, I was like, I wanna be with my friends. The fuck? Like, no. So I had to, um,. Oh, end up having them fax the shit <laughs> over and then, you know, shit was green. So that was 10th grade year. I never ended up going to the school in the back. Um, 10th grade year. Ooh, it was just one nigga, right? <sighs> I knew him since elementary school. Uh, he was going back there and, um, I didn't even know, and that, that nigga told me. So anyways, he was going to school back there, and it, I knew him since elementary school, right? And um, I had seen him, this was probably like 10th grade year, like, yeah, I was in Vegas, shit was just popping like crazy out here. Shit, I mean, out there, shit was popping. So I had seen him, he was in doubles with this other nigga and I was, you know how like you looking for a motherfucker but not really looking, but you like, oh, I wonder how they doing. Like that's how I was, I was a nice bitch. Like, oh, I wonder how, and niggas was like, if you're not fucking bitch, you get the boot. So 
I wasn't really on the sex. I was like, oh, hey, how you been? How you been, stranger? Like, on some real, like, you know, how you been type shit. Niggas was like, you not fucking get out. So, um, yeah, I tried to tap in with the nigga on some, like, what's up? How you been type shit. And nigga never replied, right? So, uh, this didn't happen until, like, I was way out of high school. But, uh, one day my brother was like, uh, you remember this nigga? Because he went to school. He went to school with the brother's sister. And I'm like, never in my motherfucking life, bitch. Nigga in some motherfucking blues looking sexy as fuck. Bitch, I go tap in with his sister. I'm like, what's up? What's your brother's number? Blah, blah, blah. Bitch, tap in with the nigga. He like, 25 to I'm like, damn, nigga, damn. Damn. Damn, free my niggas out the pen. But damn, that was just... It's like after, like, no, during high school, shit really got real. Like, I remember, like, okay, the middle school I went to, it was like, shit got real. Like, okay, I, I was like, West Side, like, never sweet life, but I always went to school with kids that was like sweet life, like, if that makes sense. So, like, I always felt like I was sweet life, even though I wasn't. Anyway, so I remember Parkview closed and they had to come to our school. Parkview was. It was a little rough. So they had to come to our school and they had to take buses. Um, this is middle school. Uh, and it was just like rough ass niggas over there. And I was just like, wow. like That's what kind of had me intrigued too. I was like, wow, these niggas are so hot. It was just like so hot. Like they have to get back on the bus and go all the way on that side of town. Like that shit was just so hot to me. Anyway, so yeah, like. It was like, it would be niggas like that. Like, the niggas that would be getting in trouble and shit in class. And them the niggas that ended up being gangbangers. That shit was just, like, so weird. Okay, so, yeah. Tapped in with that nigga. He in prison and shit. Um, 11th grade year. That's, like, when, yeah. Oh, and I didn't fight till 11th grade year. I had to go to summer school all fucking four years or three years or whatever bitch i barely fucking okay that which that's 12th grade um 11th grade i don't know like it was still like whatever like 11th grade i don't really remember it i don't nothing really stood out to me still funny bitch still a mean oh uh one of my teachers my english teacher she was like low-key family so like um, during class and shit, she'll be like telling the class about her and my dad and shit. So I'm like, cool, bitch, talk about that. And I had this one white nigga, like, our friendship was kind of like Jim and Pam from the office. He was so fucking, he was so funny to me. Like, he was my sense of humor. Like, I love that nigga. I swear to God, I don't care. I love that nigga. Like, that's like, he was so cool to me. Like, I, I couldn't wait to get to, Miss LaShaw class, just so me and that nigga could be in the back laughing. Like, we would take embarrassing pictures of each other, but it would be, like, cool, like, you know, like that, like, I miss that nigga. Oh, God, like, not like that. And he was, like, Mexican or white or whatever the fuck he was, and it was just, like, cool, like, that's the shit I'm talking about, like, cool. Um, so, yeah, 11, oh, I was in the Cassie class, <laughs> 11th grade, it was just me just trying to figure it out. Um, yeah. 11th grade was pretty regular. Did not play any sports. Oh, I hated PE. How long did we have to do? Oh, we only did PE 9th and 10th grade. Bitch, oh, 11th grade, I was like, bitch, I don't got to take PE no more. Because um 10th grade, the cool niggas, like I, I was cool with, not cool like that, I wasn't having sex, but like, I was cool because I was funny, and like I was a goofy bitch, so I was cool with everybody, and the niggas out TA, like, they'll mark a bitch down for extra laughs and shit, so I'm like, like, it was shit like that, like a bitch was like that, okay, so, um, that was 11th, 10th grade, like, yeah, like when I came back and shit, yeah okay so 11th grade um 11th grade i got into my first fight yeah and then the other one was 12th grade um 
the bitch fought me. We was beefing like, okay, I went to summer school and some right, I'm focused. I'm like, bitch, I'm gonna be a sophomore or whatever the fuck. Junior, I'm gonna be a junior next year. Like I'm not trying to be in algebra fucking one or whatever the fuck it was. So the bitch, um, I'm trying to really listen to the nigga teach. <laughs> I'm in a class with, like, this other nigga. Like, I was a goofball, and it was this one Mexican nigga. He brought in a fucking lowrider bike. And it was just, and the nigga looked at me as soon as he brought the bike. It was, like, that type where we look at each other, we start dying. So I was like, nigga, get away. You can't sit by me. So it was like that. So, okay, it's the last few weeks of school, bitch. Last few weeks of summer school. I'm trying to motherfucking focus, right? This bitch in class singing loud than a motherfucker. I'm like, hey, shut up. Like, I'm really trying to hear the teacher, bitch. That bitch, she just needed something, was just waiting for me. Okay, so I came back from Vegas, right? And this is 10th grade year. She bumped into the bitch, the homegirl bitch. You know, homegirl bitch. She bumped, like, real cool. Bumped into um, the Mexican homegirl. And, you know, didn't say, like, kept walking. I'm like, hey, like, you know, like, what's up? You bumped into the homegirl. She like, oh, la, la, bitch, you came back from Vegas, acting bold as fuck, what? I'm just, like, real life confused. Like, what? Like, so we was beefing, like, all that time. 10th grade to 11th grade year. Like, 11th grade year when we finally fought. So summer summer was, like, leading, like, summer, I guess, that's what pissed the bitch off. Summer school, so I told the bitch shut up, right? Oh, my God. Bitch get rowdy. Uh, like, you know how, like, uh, summer school is probably, like, a little bit of people, but, like, a little bit of like bitch got to the point where like a little bit of people followed her and just made it seem like she was gonna fight me so we did not fight at summer school right um we fought after the homecoming game bitch it was just always weird shit like motherfuckers always move weird when it came to me they always did weird shit when it came to me like very weird. Anyway, so it was a homecoming game, right? Um, I'm with my friends. And, uh, you know, they know that we beefing. Like, we've been be like, hey, it's, it's fucked, Neil. So why are you over here, okay? So, bitch don't like me. Um, bitch came and sat by uh, my friends or whatever. And... I didn't know, like, you know, I'm watching the football game, or, yeah, I'm watching the football game, like, I, I'm, I was really into sports, like, you know, back then and shit, like, because my cousin, he played football and shit, and also, you know, I try to do sports, um, so I was, like, really watching the game and shit, and so the bitch come behind me, like, you know, swing behind my head, and I'm like, what, like, what the fuck is that, so then they don't tell me that to the bitch leave. And they was like, oh, yeah, with the woo sheet boot behind your head. So I'm like, yeah. So game over and shit. And so, you know, the bitch nowhere to be found. So I'm like, all right, cool. Bitch, I'm walking out the motherfucking, uh, it was like one way in, out, um, one way in and one way out. Like, you know, everybody come in right here and we all come around here. So it was like a crowd, right? So I'm like, boop. So I'm like walking, um. What was I walking to? Like, damn, like you know how, like, Lancaster had, like, the parking lot, like, the student parking? I'm, like, walking over there, but, like, still on, like, the sidewalk of where, like, the football field was. Y'all probably, like, what the fuck? But, like, Lancaster people go get it. So, yeah. Still on the side where the football was, and, like, on this side was the student parking. So, like, I'm just walking, la, la, la. Bitch come up behind me. Bitch, punch me while I'm motherfucking walking. Like, this is the shit that I'm talking about. Bitches coming after me and shit. Like, when I'm not looking, bitch, I'm minding my motherfucking business. Bitch didn't say, hey, let's fight nothing. Just. <sighs> so, bitch, punch me. We fight. Uh, it was on a weekend, right? So, uh, we fight. Bitch talking about she knocked me on the ground, all types of shit. I'm like, I was there. The fuck? How is... And it was a video. So whatever. Bitch said she whooped my ass, right? I doubt it. Um, 
And I didn't say nothing. I was just like, whatever. And like, I really wasn't on Facebook because, uh, no. So I don't know how the, uh, principal found out. And it was like that new principal that we had got from like Highland. Like that nigga was like super fucking strict. So I don't know how the fuck that nigga found out. Bitch, oh God, Monday motherfucking morning, security, I ain't balling a bitch. I'm like, oh shit. So uh, it was my A block and I was a motherfucking uh, TA or something or some shit like that. Bitch, that nigga came in the motherfucking classroom and can't speak to you, bitch. I ended up getting suspended five fucking days for that. Then they trying to make me like, oh, we was fighting over niggas. I'm like, niggas, bitch, I'm a class clown. Like, at that point, 10th of junior year, still not worried about niggas. Did not have a nigga. Like, literally, I wish my Twitter was still around from back then. Like, bitch was trying to be Twitter famous. Like, <laughs> I'm not worried about niggas. So I'm just like, what the fuck? We was not, I promise you, was not over no nigga. Like, I didn't, I wasn't into niggas. I, I was not into niggas like that. Like, oh my mama, I would have been fucked a nigga from 10th grade if I was into niggas. Like, that was like my dream nigga. It would have been fucked him. Didn't fuck him to after high school. Anyway, so they tried to say it was over niggas, right? Um, suspended five days. Come back. Uh... I felt set up by one nigga, the one nigga. I felt set up by that nigga. So I was just like, oh, that nigga set me up. I'm not fucking with him. Because he fucked with her, and then he came over and was like, oh, what's up, Tineo? Blah, blah, blah. You know, trying to talk to me. And, then, you know, it was just like that. So I was like, I felt set up, blah, blah, blah. And um, the football team, they was like, okay, well, cool with me and shit. And then... They was just like, oh, we don't fuck with him no more, blah, blah, blah. They was just like, why did you set to me up? That's, and then I was just like, I don't know how the fuck, like, I was tweeting, like, I still tweet like I got one follower now, but I was tweeting like I had one motherfucking follower, and that's what everybody was tuned in. So, yeah, I was just like, that nigga set me up, all types of shit, and then the football team just took it and ran with it, and then he was just like, I never set you up, blah, blah, blah. So then that was 11th grade year. Um, I never went to house parties. Cause I, like, I don't know, I was shy. I was just like, what's the point of going? Like, I'm not gonna fuck nobody. I'm, don't, mm -mm, don't know how to do that. Like, motherfuckers was fucking at 12 and 6. Nothing against it, but I'm just like, going back, like, this mentality that I have now, bitch, I would've been fucking, yeah. But, no, bitch, I was shy girl. Okay, so 11th grade year, nothing really happened. Like, a bitch was just preparing to motherfucking graduate. I was like, oh, hell yeah. Um, I fought, and they was just like, uh, oh, you shouldn't be doing this. Uh, you try to graduate, yada, yada. So then, um, first semester of senior year, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Shit finna get cracking. We the top of the motherfucking top now. Like, we 12th graders, nigga. Like, we the motherfucking made it. Um, so at that point, it was like, everybody at the school, lucky fuck with me, bitch. I didn't get a car till second semester, but I was kind of interested in sex as a senior, but not really. Like, uh, bitch, I was trying to be class clown. I was like, who y'all voting for? Who? And, like, other bitches was running. And I was like, them bitches ain't never made me laugh. Like, I don't care. Females are not really funny. Like, and I make myself laugh. Like, bitch, I'm fucking funny. So, I was just like, y'all better not vote for them bitches. They're not funny. And, oh, God. And then they knew the um, school had found out that we was uh, talking about it on Twitter. Because we was all like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Go vote for. It was like, um. I forgot what it was. It was like other shit and that smile and weird, whatever the fuck it was. And they said we couldn't do it on social media and shit like that. Okay, so I ended up winning class clown. I was like fucking period, yes. Um, so then senior year, it was fun. We got to take senior pictures, all that. Prom, yeah, that shit was cool. Um, I wish I could have redid it. Like, I go thinking back now, like, I really wish I could just redo everything with, like, the mentality that I know now. 
Anyway, so first semester, spring, not nah, winter break, uh, I was the goofball bitch, the funny bitch. Like I always, um, I was, I was a meme. So like, I don't, I feel like, cause I never really cared. I thought that like other people wouldn't care and shit like that. So, um, it was this other, it was this one bitch, right? She had posted a throwback and in the throwback, she looked like the crackhead from the PJs. So I just took the picture and put it next to the crackhead from PJs. And I was like, uh, it was one of the hashtags I was going around on Twitter. I was like, uh, my glow up challenge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was just the crackhead from PJs and the old throwback of the bitch. I know it was wrong, but that was me trying to be a Twitter comedian, like, clout. Oh, God. Like, didn't know what the fuck it was back then, but not even back then, because it wasn't, like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so, so I guess the tweet got big. I don't know, because then the bitch found out. But she was, like, it was, like, um twitter and then it was like facebook and facebook was like where i don't want to say it like that but like you know like <sighs> facebook was like where all the black girls was okay facebook and instagram um i really wasn't on either okay so i guess it had got back to the girl who posted the old throwback of herself and then she posted it on instagram and she was like this why nobody like uh she called me toenail because it was this one country nigga. He used to call me toenail. And then the bitch was like, this why nobody like toenail. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> um. So, yeah. And then this one bitch had posted one. It was a picture of me and then the pig from, uh, what was that? One? Oh, Angry Birds. It was me and the pig from Angry Birds. I was like, all right, bitch. Okay. So, um, it was just like, kept talking about each other and the bitches could not handle it. So then they wanted to fight. Um, so we ended up fighting because that's, this was 12th grade winter break was when like the arguing, not really. Yes, it was arguing. Okay. It was arguing. So then when I seen the shit on Instagram, I don't, somebody sent it to me. Oh, God, somebody sent it to me. I think it was, it was, like, the country nigga. He was, like, uh, he was said, I'm the only one that call you toenail or some shit like that. It was, somebody sent it to me because I wasn't following the bitch. Like, I was not tapped in. Like, it was somebody that said, look at these girls calling you toenail. And I was, like, what the fuck? And then I clicked on the screenshot and it was, like, this one. I was, like, uh, okay. So then, uh, then I had seen the other one of me and the pig. And I was just like, you bitches are weird. So, <laughs> oh God, like, um, right? We was in uh, high school. I wasn't even fucking 18 yet. Um, so then it was like the one bitch, she was trying to be like the Captain Saber homie. And, uh, it was the other bitch. She the one who did the picture of me and the pig, right? Okay, so then, so we argue and going back and forth about, but she real life looked like a horse, like, real life. So I'm like, anything you say, like, I'm trying to tell her, I'm like, anything you say, like, it cancels out. I'm like, you're ugly, like, okay, I'm fat, but like, you know, like, you real life look like a horse, so, you know. So, uh, and then she had like a, you know how like bitches be named after like they daddy, but like that Isha and you know, shit like that. She had a name like that. And I was like, you have an ugly ass name. And she was like, I'm named after my daddy. And I was like, ew. And then she tried to say, I tell her, I tell her to kill herself. Like, I'm not that type of bitch. I'm, I don't talk like that. Like, go kill yourself. Bitch. Like, I say funny shit. I'm like, you're ugly. Like, you know, you look like a whore. I say shit like that. Like, go kill yourself. Like, that's weak. I don't talk like that. So then she tried to get in the office crying and saying that I said that. Okay, but anyways, um, so we was beefing on Twitter probably for like 
until we got back to school. So this is like two weeks on Twitter. And oh God, okay, so it was this one nigga, right? Um, I I told him to come over. Cause he was just he was talking to me, but he was like on the football team and I was like, should I fuck him? I was like football player. But then he was he came over to my house and he was looking so ugly. And I was like, Can you just get out? So then that nigga got on Twitter and he hopped in them bitches and then he started politicking about me. I was like, nigga, you're mad. You you're mad. You're fucking mad. You are mad that you could not fuck me. So and that's that's like really when I started like niggas that nigga still to this day taps in. Like niggas are always gonna come back. Like nigga, no, they cannot come back, but they're always gonna try. Only one, but that's what I'm talking about. Like it, it, it don't really matter. Like oh yeah, I'm a fat bitch. I'm the, I'm the, two months later. What's up? I didn't mean it. Up. Like, are you sick? Okay, so then that nigga did that. He was under the comments. He was retweeting shit. Uh, I was just like, yeah, nigga. Like animosity. Animo. I'm like, why would I ever give you some pussy if this how you acting when I said no? Like that shit weird. A nigga tell me I can't have some dick. All right. Nigga, the fuck, I'm going to go boss up. Still can't have none. All right, that's it. That's it. The fuck, nigga, you, you wasn't looking it. That nigga, I was like, oh, hell no. That, this is not it. Oh, God, it was a day, like, I think my parents had went to, like, L.A. or something. And I had the house to myself. This, I think, came over. That's, like, when I was living by the college. And I think he was by the college. Bitch, I nigga came over and he was just not it. I was like, this is not who I'm gonna lose my virginity to. Like, yeah, you on the football team, but it was just you know, he like one of them B players. Like he not right, he was not okay. The nigga I lost my virginity to, he was really good. <laughs> he was really fucking good at football. Anyways. So yeah, he was that nigga, that just stood out to me. I, that was like the first time that shit ever happened. And then like as I got older, niggas started lying on me, saying I suck they dick. Gave him pussy. All oh, I was like, oh yeah, niggas is they weird, they crazy. Okay, so that nigga did that. Like he was politicking hard. He was like, yeah, I don't like her either. I'm like, I didn't give you pussy last week, nigga. If I would have gave you some pussy, you would have been different. If I would have told you, if I would have sucked your dick, you wouldn't have left out this motherfucker, that motherfucking house with some blue balls. Shit would have been different. So I'm just like, nigga, you, you only saying that shit because you could not fuck. So that shit just stood out to me. Um, anyway, so they had like a whole little hate to Neil party on Twitter. And then the bitch had like a weird ass name. And then like, I was like, bitch, your name is. And then like all the football players started like quoting it and laughing. And then I guess like that's what like really pressured the bitch to like want to fight. Because like people would like tell me about the bitch like a year before. Like, yeah, we was doing this. And we had a fucking earth science class together and she was like whole bitch but it was like weird whole bitch like you know doing it for like weed and shit and I was just like who is this bitch like what you know <laughs> what and I was just like so intrigued I'm like wow so if you suck a nigga dick he'll give you some weed and I was just like yeah this was like square me Okay, so, you know, that's what her shit around the school was, you know, that she was doing shit like that for weed. And I was like, okay, like, I didn't bring it up, like, but I was just like, you know, like, you're ugly, like, you know. So, um, then she was like, oh, you're fat bitch. Well, so we kept just, like, going back and forth on Twitter, and I was like, whatever. And then she was like, I'll see you when I see you. And I was just like, whatever the fuck, bitch. No, I was like, bitch, I'm going to, bitch, I was like, oh, this is my last semester, bitch. You a weirdo. I'm not going to fight you. Because she was like, fucking 11th grader, bitch. I'm a 12th grader. It's my, we coming back. It's January. We graduate in May. Bitch, I'm not worried about you. So I'm like, whatever. Bitch, it's the first motherfucking day we come back from winter break. Um, My A block was... It was in the back, and we come in because we had a snack. It's like 15 minutes, right? And my friends, we met, like, by Mr. Shaw Shaw class that we would go in the quad or, like, whatever the fuck we would do. But so I'm um, waiting right there by Mr. Shaw Shaw class. So then I see the bitches, they come around. And, you know, she's trying to start with me, and I'm like, bitch, I'm not even finna fight with you, blah, blah. Bitch, I turn the fuck around. This is what I'm talking about. Like, bitches waited till I turned around. All right. 
now I know, like, when a bitch come at me aggressive, like, no, like, yeah, but bitch, I'm gonna know now. No more bitches is what blind. What do you call that shit? What do you call that shit? When somebody punch you, or you know, what do you call that shit? Whatever the fuck is called, bitches is not doing that no more. Um. So yeah, that bitch did that. Um. Yeah. <sighs> She had like one of them little ass onion ponytails and I was like, you know, trying to pull the fuck out. <laughs> oh, fuck. That shit was pretty funny. Got suspended for that. Wait, the bitch, we boop, 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 boop. One of this nigga, uh, one of this weird ass, whole other story about this nigga. Nigga hop in. Hey, hey, y'all shouldn't be fucking. I'm like, boop, boop, boop. So the bitch, boop, run off, run to the fucking back of the school. I'm like, what the fuck, bitch security, they come get me. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I'm sitting in the office, bitch. Uh, bitch, I ended up getting suspended. And I'm like, like, it was, I, it was whatever, because I was at home for five days. So, yeah. But, uh, oh, God, I was so, like, I was scared because, I think we had had an assembly or something. Uh, yes, we had an assembly probably like the first week of senior year. And they was like, if you get suspended the second semester, you're not going to graduate. And bitch, I was, that's why I was, they was like, you're not going to graduate or be able to go to prom. And that's why the fuck, I was like, oh, bitch, get away. Get the fuck away. This is what I'm living for. Get the fuck away. Right, I was like, I got shit to lose. That little bitch was like, no. So we fought and bitch, I don't think she got suspended. Because people was telling me, they was tapping in, they was like, oh, yeah, she's still at school. I was just like, this shit weird, man. This shit weird. So that was senior year. I come back. Um, then, like, I graduated. Some bitches in her group, they talking about they looking for me, whatever. Um, so then uh, I come back. Yeah, people told me that she never got suspended. And I was just like, that's weird. Got my car. I had got my car like February. Bitch, I had me a little motherfucking bucket. I had a um I had a green Honda Accord, a two-door bitch. And it had a little motherfucking sunroof. And it had eight CD changers. And I had a um not a nigga, but like a friend, and he would burn me CDs. Bitch, I felt like I was a shit in my little motherfucking car. Like, period. So then, um, woo, ditching. A bitch started ditching. Like, that shit was addicting, bitch. I I remember I tried to ditch once when I was a ninth grader, but they made it seem like it was so serious. Like, I feel like ninth grade, it was more strict because, like, security, they used to walk around and shit. But, like, like they, I don't know. It was just easier. Like, she was just, I didn't really care. Like, fuck it. Fuck it. And then, like, when I was a ninth grade, like, shit was, like, real tapped into my family. Like, you know, friends of the family will be working at school and shit. And, like, it was just too tapped in. But, like, once I was a senior bitch, I didn't really give a fuck. I'm like, yeah, I did. Yep. So, uh, yeah, bitch, got that car. And it's like, okay, so we were all coming to school. So, I bring my brother to school, right? Bitch, he'd get out the car. So, it'd be, we all park, like, in the back and shit. So, it'd be... One of my friends, bitch, me, and bitch, um, the other friend, she didn't have a A block or whatever. So, like, on ABC days, we'll be like, nah, nigga, we don't feel like going. So, bitch, we go get breakfast, go smoke, go do shit. Bitch, that shit was motherfucking addicting. That shit was very, like, school just became so, like, uh, that was, like, my first time, like, in the streets. Like, <laughs> oh, God, like, bad girl. So then, um, it started getting hot. Bitch was still not at school. Bitch, oh, never at school. I remember Mr. Maiden. Shout out to Mr. fucking Maiden. Oh, God. I, that nigga, oh, my God. Mr. Maiden was amazing. Like, every time that nigga had a sub, bitch, I'm... Because people would be tweeting. They were like, oh, Maiden got a sub. I'm, they were like, oh, how's the sub? Twitter. I'm on Twitter. And they like, Maiden got a sub. I'm like, yeah, bitch. As soon as he got a sub, I'm like, uh, what block was that? A, B, C, D. 
like e block that was my e block bitch lunch i'm gone first lunch second lunch i'm gone come back f block um my f block bitch he called my mama the last week of school but she tried to take my car away i'm like he like um your daughter don't be coming to my class anymore i'm like bitch she ain't got no motherfucking business tell my mama that it's the last motherfucking week of school don't worry about that so um and then it was some shit that we had called eagle in a box and it was like little videos that they would put together right so then um it was like uh they would go around and i think it was yearbook club or whoever the fuck made the videos they was like go around and ask seniors like what advice do you have for the up and coming seniors so everybody else's video was at school and shit. They around the quad, basketball courts, in the class. Bitch, my video in the motherfucking car at the park. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, don't ditch, don't, don't ditch, bitch. Literally ditching in the. That was just pretty funny to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, and wait, I'm like, don't ditch, and everybody like, bitch, you ditching in the. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that was uh tenth grade. Uh I sucked my friend's dick prom night. Uh I don't know where that nigga came from. He was cute as fuck to me, but like not fuckable, like and then his dick was like really little. And then he said I used a lot of teeth, but now I'm just <laughs> throw the sword, so um yeah. Um and then a bitch graduated. Uh fuck. That shit was just that shit was like it was some niggas I wish I could have fucked or like still wish. And then it was it was niggas that like bitch I never expected like bitch my little brother friend. Like, bitch. Um, yeah. Um, I went to, like, my first party. Like, prom night. Not prom night. Yeah, prom night. It was a party. But graduation night. It was this party in Palmdale. And, bitch, they had 40s the motherfucking cooler and I just thought that shit was so cool. I was like, wow, they really got forties in this video. And um cause I always partied on the West and like I didn't go to like a East Side party to like um I was fucking like nineteen bitch. I I didn't go so I was nineteen. And that shit was just like so different. Like West uh, West Side parties, it's like white kids. Like, okay, the West Side is like cops and like people that work at the prison. It's them type of kids. East Side is like mini LA. So that was like my first time being on there. Like the, the West Side is like, the, they doing coke, like bitches coke on the table. That's the first time like I really seen like coke coke. It was like the white kids. And then like, of course, bloods do it and shit, but. That was like the first time I really seen it. I'm like, wow, y'all, that's coke, that's powder. Okay. Um. But yeah, that was my high school experience. <sighs> of course, I wish I can go back and change a lot. But all we can do is keep trucking, so. Yeah. Um a bitch barely graduated. Wait, wait, oh yeah. So it I remember it was like the last week we had a week. We had a the seniors had a week and then that last week of school that was when we did like uh graduation practice or whatever. So like before that last week a bitch is like Ooh, bitch, I don't know how. I can't tell you how the fuck I did it. Because I had an F. A bitch had an F in uh, creative writing. Because I, I would always ditch that nigga class. Like, I was, it was so fucking boring. Like, that was the class, like, all the white kids was in. And I was, like, starting to get a taste of, like, not really. But, like, I just, I don't know. Nigga, fuck streets is calling. Fuck, nigga, I got a car. I'm outside. Like, 
Um, I, his class was just boring. It was like literature and shit like that. And like, yeah, fuck, I'm 18, you know, pussy brand new. I'm sucking niggas dick. <laughs> fuck, I don't want to do that. So, uh, yeah. Whoo, bitch, I had to do like, whoo. Um, I think I had to do a poem. Bitch, I found poems online. Bitch, I did so much motherfucking work for his motherfucking. I think all the other classes, I was like, fuck it. I got like uh, B's and C's. <laughs> bitch, fuck it. Bitch, I was doing all the work for that nigga class. Cause, and bitch, um, that nigga, I graduated with a 59.9%. But he marked it as a D, bitch. I was like, whoo. Bitch, I could not believe it. I was like, whoo. Could not believe it. But, uh, yeah, that's my high school experience. <laughs> I didn't turn a freak ball into after high school. Right. I had to put that out there because niggas be like, I knew you was about to freak your high school. Like, nope. A bitch was a loser. So, uh, right. I was, like, the quiet bitch. I was, like, two or so. And, uh, yeah. Like, I don't know where this big sexy shit came from. Yeah. Like I would take pictures like this in high school, but it was it wasn't big sexy yet. Like big sexy, she just like embraced it, like took that shit in. And like, yeah, I was like, oh. Like it just became I don't it just became like easy. Like I feel like once I started sucking dick and then like I would just hit a nigga up and he'll just be like, Yeah, and I'm like, Wow, okay. And then like once I started like partying on like the east side, that's when I was like tapping in with them niggas, meeting all types of niggas. And I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? I'll never go back over there. Like I had crushes on, who did I have a crush? Who's like my biggest crush in Lancaster? <sighs> Who's my biggest? Mm, yeah, yep, that nigga is a cop now, okay. um. Yeah, so it was shit like that, and yeah. yeah. Okay, I did have another crush. Like, it was like Mexican niggas I had crushes on. And now I'm niggas with tattoos on my neck. That's what I like. That is what I like. So, I don't know how it happened. Like, I'm still trying to figure that part out. Like, where the, the, um, how the fuck did this happen? Cause when I was in high school, a bitch like I, I was obsessed with Mexican niggas. Like not Mexican, but like oh, I want to say this nigga named Bass. You know, <laughs> like two people know him. But like, like the Mexicans that's into like black people stuff. Like he was just so cute to me. If y'all know who I'm talking about. But yeah, that's why like. So I don't know how, where the fuck these hood niggas came from. These street, I don't know. Cause they was like so different to me and I was just like so like Ugh, what and then they used to think that like I was weird and shit and I'm just like okay so I don't know this is just gonna be a video of me talking okay so I used to be a CNA right and then this is like when I was fucking with hood niggas right and this is like the hood niggas that used to be like passing and all types of shit like that so that, that's when that was like that shit was like whatever cool or whatever so this I used to be a CNA and I used this is like when I used to go to people's houses and shit and this is like when the ring light not the ring light the ring doorbell that shit was becoming popular and I'm telling niggas I'm like hey hey they got shit on their door where like they can see like nigga like <laughs> I don't think that shit cool no bitch niggas was not listening niggas was not listening like I really tried to um. I really tried to um, help niggas and yeah, <sighs> but they never wanted to listen. So what did I say? Um, but yeah, that's my high school experience. Yeah. Um. She just changed at the high school. Bitch started loving me. The niggas. Like, I don't know. it. I don't know what the fuck it is. I just love. 
<clears throat> but uh yeah that was my high school experience uh i don't talk to nobody from high school a bitch really to be in the motherfucking cut wait i'm like how bitch niggas still be finding me i'm like how how wait facebook niggas like niggas just like whatever facebook niggas is joining my only i'm like nigga, how did you even get the link like how that shit crazy to me like niggas is really tap the fuck in <sighs> okay i'm done whatever